So I'm coming over to my menu and I'm going to open up Sibelius. It might not be located there for you. Now I'm using a different version, so it's going to say Ultimate here, uh, but yours might say Sibelius first. And it might play music when it launches, which is cool. Mine doesn't. I turn that off. Um, let's just start with a treble staff. So all you need to do here is find here and just click once. And we don't need to mess with any of this stuff for now. We're just going to go ahead and click create down here. So we have created our file. Now I would recommend maximizing this window, dragging it out. And what you can do is you can drag the score, click and drag the score into the center, and then hold down Command or Control and press the plus on your keyboard. Command on Mac and Control on PC, so I'll say that going forward. And you can zoom in pretty close here, and then you can continue to drag around the score. So this will help you see. Here's your beginning. So now this is important. I'm going to drag this up here. This is called the keypad. If you don't see this, you want to go up to the View menu up here, and it'll be over here. You can turn on and off the keypad. But within the keypad, you'll see a couple of different notes. You'll see a whole note, which is four beats long, um, which is the most that would fit in one measure. Um, you'll see half notes, which are two beats, quarter notes, which are one beat, eighth notes, which are half a beat, and that's probably all we're going to mess with right now. I'm going to start with quarter notes that are one beat each. So what you want to do is, whenever you see something selected, by the way, and you don't want it to be selected, just click in a blank space in the score, and it will deselect it. Um, so you can go ahead, now that you don't have anything selected, go ahead and click the quarter note, and let's go ahead and put some notes in. Let's just make a C scale kind of like we did before. We're going to start, this is middle C here. So I click it and it appears. And then I'm going to go right underneath this next beat and type it here. Now if I were to do it over here, notice that it skips a beat and there's a rest in that beat, um, which is cool if that's what you want. But if you want to go just, you know, one note per beat, then just kind of go to the next available spot and don't go too far to the right. Cool, so I have made the notes of my C scale. Now the most important thing I'm going to teach you on Sibelius is you can see how the cursor, um, my mouse cursor here is blue right now. It's kind of hard to see maybe, but if you press N, it has now become black. And that's important because that gets you out of the mode where you are entering notes and you can do other things like select measures and play back what you have. So let's play back what we have and hear how it sounds. I'm going to click the note I want to start playing on, and I'm going to press simply P, and we will hear what that sounds like. And I'm going to press spacebar to stop playing. That green line over there just shows you where, the, where you are within the play, uh, within the playback. Now you'll notice that that was a piano sound that played back those notes. That's just the default, but we can change that. And we'll, I'll do some more sessions on getting different instruments involved and writing some more complicated stuff. Now, if you want to change the duration of any of these notes, let's say these are all one beat each right now. If you want some of them to be longer, like two beats, we would just come up to our keypad, click on the half note, and click on the note that we want to become two beats. And now, because that's two beats, it's taken over the place of the uh, quarter note that was on beat two. Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing, maybe how about in the middle of this measure, okay? So now again, very important, you have to press N to get out of that note entry mode. Click the note you want to start from and press P to play. Press spacebar to stop. Now that might feel like we're kind of floating in midair a little bit and where you don't really know where the beat is. So if you're not feeling the beat, what might be helpful, even though it could be a little annoying, is to press the M, M as in Mary, and this will pull up your mixer down here. And what we're looking for, I'm going to drag it up here and resize it so that we can actually see what's going on a little bit here. Um, and I want to go down to the bottom of it. There it is. Okay, now I can see everything. So you'll see this, this column here that says click on the bottom. And that M means mute. It means that the click track is muted. Now the click track is just a, sounds like 
and it just kind of keeps the beat almost like a drum set would so it might be cool if you want to hear how many beats notes are if you can feel some beat playing um, you can just press M and now it is not muted and this is the volume you can bring that up and down so why don't we listen I'm gonna drag the mixer up here so we still have it on the screen um, I'm gonna drag my score down here and this first note is selected I'm gonna hit P to play it and I'm gonna press spacebar to stop so you can see now that maybe that was a little bit loud for the click track I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and now I'm going to press M to hide the mixer because I don't need to see it anymore. Okay, so that gives you an introduction about how to enter notes in Sibelius um, and how to hear them played back, which are the most important things. Now, if you want to keep going with me, I'm going to go into the next measure and I'm going to do some faster notes. I'm going to use eighth notes. And you'll notice that um, eight of them will fit into one measure. Excuse me, I just see I just skipped a space, so now we have this rest in here. Um, and I'll show you what those sound like in a second. Okay, well, I'm just going to finish the phrase, okay. So now, instead of playing from the beginning, I'd like to hear it from here. So what I have to do again, remember, always press N, click the note you want to start from, and then press P. And if you, you can hear that beat in the click track there, and you can hear the fast eighth notes being played back to you. Now let's say I wanted to kind of make things interesting and throw some rests in there. All I have to do is select the note and press delete. And now this has become an eighth rest. It takes up just as much time as an eighth note would have taken up, except it's gonna be silence when we get there. And I'm gonna do one more, I'm gonna do it right here. Okay, so going back to here, pressing P, So I just put some rests in. I'm going to go put a quarter rest in here. So I'm going to select this note and just simply hit delete and it becomes a rest. And I'm going to select the first note and hit P to play. And press spacebar to stop. Now that's not really much of a melody. I was just messing around with random notes to show you how to enter notes. Um, but let's 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 delete all that. What I did to select and delete everything, I should let me go back. Um, was I clicked in a blank space in the measure, and then I held down the shift key and I clicked in a blank space in the measure I wanted to select to, and then I just simply hit delete. And now these have all become rests, so there are no more notes in my um, music. Let me go ahead and enter, excuse me, that was a mistake. You can always press con Control Z on a PC or Command Z to undo if you ever do anything funny. Okay, so another thing that we can do that might be helpful is I wanna teach you about using the letter R. Um, so if you have a note, this is another way to enter notes or to you know repeat things. So let's say I have four eighth notes here and I'm gonna press N and I'm gonna click the first note and press P and press spacebar. So that's what they sound like. Now let's say I want to do that again and again several times. So I'm going to click the first note, hold down the shift key, and then click the last note. So I have now selected all four notes and I'm going to hit the R button on my keyboard. And that has simply repeated the four notes again. And I could even do it, well I could do it as many times as I want. I could go crazy if I wanted to. Now I'm going to click the first note and press P. Okay, and I press spacebar to stop. Now that could be annoying if that was the only thing going on in the in the song, but if there was a melody going on underneath that, that could be cool. I'm going to select, I'm going to click here, hold down shift, and click here, and then press delete to get rid of that stuff. Um, you can also use the R button to enter notes. Um, if you want to enter notes that way, that's also a good way. So I very often I'll do, if my last note here was this note, which is a G, and I'll press the R button, and now I've simply repeated that G. However, let's say I don't want it to be that. I can just move it up with the up cursor on my keyboard, the up arrow on my keyboard. I can move it as far up or down as I want to go. Now if I press R, 
I've repeated that and then I can just move the you know use the down arrow to make it go down R down R down R down 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 R up R up R up and if I want to change the note value um, from eighth notes let's say I want to do something slower it might be good to go ahead and enter the next one as an eighth note and then come up here to your keypad and actually what I would do is yeah okay that note is selected and we're gonna make it a half note so that takes up the rest of the and if I want to go back and enter stuff as a half note see how I'm not getting a note here on my screen after I clicked half note so now I am but if, if you were if you were in that situation a minute ago and you weren't seeing it all you have to do is press N and you will get into note entry mode and again press N to get out of it click the first note press P another cool thing we can do is we can add intervals below a chord so if I wanted to add the note that was two notes below this G this is a good way to make or below this B um, this is a good way to make chords if I wanted to know, do the note that was uh, a few notes above it I could press 3 and that adds that D up there but if I wanted to know the, add the note that was below it I would do shift 3 and that adds that um, if I wanted to do a bigger interval like a sixth this is if I press 6 or if I click that note again and then I press shift 6 now I'm getting um, larger intervals I'm gonna press shift 3 and shift 4 now this will sound maybe a little strange because I'm just teaching you how to enter notes right now but you can hear basically that these are chords and they have kind of a nice sound now we're not entering any bass lines or any additional chords or anything like that just learning how to use the program right now so um, so then you can come on up here to file and save you know your your document when you're done and uh, that's your introduction to Sibelius so let me know if you have any questions